Hey guys, today on Low Carb with Jennifer, we are going to make an antipasto salad. It's a perfect keto salad with all of the Italian flavors. It's perfect for any picnic you have going on this summer. And you can find the link to the recipe in the description below, or you can go to jenniferbands.com and search for antipasto salad. So to get started with our antipasto salad, and I mean, I say antipasto, I don't know. I mean, I, I did some little bit of research here and this is actually an old recipe on my blog and I actually called it pastaless pasta salad because it kind of has all of the flavors of pasta salad, um, but no pasta. And it's just a really good, you know, just all of the delicious things that's in a pasta salad, but just no pasta. So I put zucchini in mine, raw zucchini. If you don't like raw zucchini, you can steam it for a few minutes, but I don't mind it being raw. So I am, this is a very large zucchini and I'm gonna quarter it. So I already quartered it. And now I'm going to cut it into smaller pieces to put in our salad. So this salad is perfect for all of your summer picnics. It doesn't have any mayonnaise in it. It has Italian dressing. It does have some mozzarella cheese in it. Some little, got these little mozzarella cheese balls. It's just such a little, such a refreshing salad. And it's really pretty. It's so colorful. So I'm gonna do that zucchini. And now I'm gonna do some red, uh, not red, some yellow bell pepper. You could do red if you wanted, and that would be really pretty too. And I am going to cut them into a julienne, and then I'm gonna cut them in half, just so they're easier to eat. I'm gonna make sure and get all the seeds out. Okay, we've got our vegetables chopped, and now for the really yummy stuff. I've got some pepperoni here some slices of pepperoni that I'm going to cut it's a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna cut them in half. And into the bowl with the other stuff. You will definitely not miss the pasta in this salad. Also got some these mozzarella balls and I'm gonna cut them in half. Okay, now we have some banana pepper rings and you know, I have about a third of a cup here and I'm just gonna chop them a little more so they're easier to eat. And these add such a good like acidic flavor to the dressing, I mean not the dressing, to the salad. It just, salads need that acidic bite. Makes it really delicious. And you've got to have some black olives. I'm going to add that to our bowl. Let's put them all in there. And we need to cut some fresh basil leaves. It's not Italy without basil or Italian without basil. Okay. I'm just going to cut these in thin slices. And put that in. This is looking really, really pretty. Okay, <clears throat> and now we can add our Italian dressing. And I just use store-bought Italian dressing. And I mean, you can make your own if you want to. And you really, this would be really good if you let it sit in the refrigerator overnight just for it to all marinate. Now it's time to toss. I'm gonna just use, I don't have any salad serving utensils, so I'm just going to use a 
spatula and a spoon. That's all you need. And we're just gonna toss this all together. It is looking super delicious. Spin it. There's all my mozzarella balls. And how amazing does that look? And I think we should put a little bit more basil on top, just to be pretty. All right, how good does that look? So colorful and perfect for any picnic. And you can find the link to this recipe in the description below, or you can go to jenniferbands.com and you can search for antipasto salad. And if you make this and you take it to a picnic, let me know how much everyone loved it. And I will see you guys later. Bye.